going to work on another page in my 2017 composite art journal. This is another challenge in the My Year 2017 Facebook group. They keep me inspired. What can I say? If you see messy hands on me, I have to say I'm working on two or three projects at once. I When one is a stopping point, I pick up the other one. So I'm enjoying my art. What can I say? But I just got inspired when I was watching a video by Ann Williamson at Annalise Creates. I'll put a link to her channel and her video in the description box below. Let me show you what I'm going to do. This page I did as the Challenge 2 by Gina Ahrens, the sketchy flowers, and a tribute to my mother for Mother's Day. What I have here is a page protector, and the video that I saw Anne do had a tip in using... I believe she used an acetate, and she did a shaker. Well, Gina Ahrens inspired me to start drying flowers. And these are dandelions. Look at these. Now, this happens to be a bouquet. You know how when you were children, you'd go out and pick dandelions and bring them in to your mother for Mother's Day? Well, I'm going to give my mother a bouquet of dried dandelions. I'm going to put them in this page protector, and I'm going to make a tip pin out of it. Now, let me show you some of my others. This is the first bouquet that I tried, and it didn't come out so good, so I tried it on another piece of paper. The, the dandelions are still good, but as a bouquet, it didn't really turn out, so I'm just going to use the flowers separately. And then I have a layer of separate dandelions that I dried in the microwave. I saw this technique done first at the Frugal Crafter, Lindsay. I will put a link to her video in the description box below. So I have to tell you, we have dandelions, and since I discovered this, <laughs> my brother may not, I may pick all the dandelions before he has to mow them at the rate I'm going because I am having so much fun drying these. And they still keep, a lot of them still keep their color. So I'm going to go out in the yard and pick some more and dry them before he mows them down. <laughs> so we may not have a problem with dandelions when I get finished. I'm going to go ahead and work on my tip in, and I'll go into fast forward to do that. And when I'm finished, I will come back and chat about it. Okay, my dandelion tip in is finished. I did put a bobby pin embellishment on it. I think the longer that it's folded, the easier it will be to for it to stay flat. But for now, it just keeps it flat. 
and these are dried dandelions. Now I put them inside of a page protector. I truly believe that they are dried and all the moisture is out of them. If it isn't, I'll cut open the tip in and not keep them around. But I do believe that they are all dried. They're very brittle. I'm really happy with it. You know how as a child when you go out and you pick dandelions and you bring in a bouquet for your mother? Well, this is a dandelion bouquet for my mother. I use score tape to attach the little bouquet to the page protector. And you saw me put some score tape on the back of a couple of single dandelions just to fill out this bouquet a little bit more. I had some of that white puffy dandelion that I like so well in there and it looked really nice but it was going way up in here. So the next time I do that I might try to get it someplace else on the page. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. You just you never get tired of giving your mother bouquets. How fun is this? I will see you on the next page.